Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you're new here, my name is Danny. Today I am talking about a newly launched makeup brand, Mob Beauty. So to give you a little bit of information about them. So this is a new clean beauty brand that just launched on January 21st. So they think that all products should be clean, cruelty-free, and vegan, and that packaging needs to be reimagined. Not only is there too much waste and excess in the industry, there's also no reason for you to pay for packaging more than once. Our sustainability standards are high, which compelled us to design our own earth-first packaging system using primarily post-consumer re recycled materials. Um, every mob component is 100% customizable, refillable, and can be home composted or recycled after use. They say that they are serious about the impact on our society as they are about their impact on the planet and they believe a better world begins with, with a community that cares, I agree. So it says with this in mind, they have partnered with Hashtag Lunch Bag, a global humanity service movement to support their efforts in providing meals and love notes to those who are food insecure. So that's super cool, I really like that. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into the beauty and I will just a little disclaimer here They did send me these products um, Not being paid to talk about them, um, but they did kindly gift them to me They do have eight blush shades to choose from they also have 24 eyeshadow shades four bronzer shades 17 cream lipstick shades four highlighter shades um, one eyeliner one eyeliner which is a black eyeliner it's like an eyeshadow eyeliner it's called it's called their cake liner and then they also have six lip balm shades so and they also have palettes and compacts for you to choose from for example this is one of their compacts so it comes with this compact and then you put the individual um products in there so like eyeshadows blushes bronzers etc all right so let's just go ahead and get right into applying everything they come in individual packaging this is what the individual packaging looks like and then you can put it in the palette that you choose out so this is what this little palette looks like with the selections that they sent me so you can of course pick out your individual shades that you prefer so like the eyeshadow shades that you want the highlighter shade bronzer shade blush shade etc so so I just kind of wanted to demo this for you. So I'm going to start off by warming up my face. I'm going to warm up my face with the bronzer, of course. So this is the bronzer shade right here. So this is the shade M36 bronzer. So I'm just going to warm up my face. And I'm just using this super kind of like fluffy brush. This is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Radiance Wand Brush. I really like this if you... I think it's good for like a bronzer because it's not like super precise. And it just helps you warm up the face easily without having like those stark lines those obvious like bronzer lines i know sometimes if you use a more precise brush it's easier to accidentally get like those harsh lines and just it makes it more obvious that you have like a bronzer on um but this one just disperses it evenly so this seems like a pretty cool toned bronzer i like cool tone bronzers especially for like winter time maybe you don't want to look as warmed up just because Obviously, in the winter, you're not normally getting as tan, so it's not as natural to have that warmer bronze, um, at least if you're as pale as I am. Um, so yeah, this gives a nice, like, cool-toned bronze. Um, it seems to be blending pretty nice. I will say it doesn't look the best on, like, my acne marks, but honestly, literally, like, any bronzer that I use, it just emphasizes these marks that I have here. I don't know if it, like, kind of, like, sweeps away the foundation that I had on. Maybe if I just used tapping motions, it would work better, but even then, even when I do that, I still find that it just, it kind of just ends up, like, almost, like, highlighting the marks, but that's just a personal thing. I know, obviously, not everyone has marks like that so you don't have to worry about that but yeah so this is a pretty cool toned bronzer let me swatch it for you guys so you guys can really see what this looks like so here is this bronzer shade i also think this bronzer would look really nice if you just toss it in the crease for an eyeshadow look a really quick eyeshadow look um but yeah so there's the bronzer let me actually apply a little bit to my jawline and a little bit on my neck as well, just so we can keep it all even. So I feel like it's warmed up my face a little bit, but not too intensely that it looks unnatural. I feel like it blended out pretty well. Um, I don't know if this shade in particular is my favorite. 
Um, I don't know if it's the most flattering on me. Then I'm just going to apply the blush. This is the blush shade that I have, and this is this this is the M19 blush. I don't have a description of the blush to explain it to you, like what shade it's supposed to be. But to me, it actually looks very similar to the bronzer, as you can see. I don't know, not quite the same, obviously, but it is pretty similar tone. So I feel like it's pretty, like, it almost matches the bronzer, but just with like a hint of like warm pink to it. I'm going to go ahead and do eyeshadow. So I think I'm going to start off with this shade right here. And this is the shade M6. This is the M6 eyeshadow. So I'm just going to kind of take this and I'm just going to apply it all over the lid to kind of create an even base. It looks just like a, a very light pink, almost um, beige pink. All right, and then I'm going to take this shade right here. And this is M64, which is this pretty like burgundy, purpley, pinkish color. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to kind of the outer portion of the eye and then kind of blend it into the crease as well. And I will say these do have quite, the eyeshadows do have quite a bit of kick up, um, at least when you initially like dip your brush into the pans but honestly that's not really much of an issue i just tap off the excess but once you're applying it to the eyes i'm not seeing like any fallout i'm just going to take this same shade right here and i'm just going to apply this kind of towards the inner part of the eye and then i'm going to also deepen up this outer portion and i'm kind of just going to leave a little bit open in the middle And I know it's looking quite messy right now. I'll definitely blend everything out, make it look less a little messy. I'm just going to kind of blend everything out more. And then I'm going to take this same shade and I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this pink shade right here. This is in the shade M33. I'm just going to apply this to the center. All right, and then I'm going to take this shade right here. This is the shade M43. So this is kind of like a, it's very much like a white shimmer shade. This would be great for like an inner corner highlight, and I will use it for that as well. But I'm also going to pop this in the center just to add some shimmer to the look. This feels really smooth when you're swatching it with your finger. All right, and then I'm gonna take the same shade. I'm gonna use a more precise brush and I'm gonna use this to highlight the inner corners. I'm also gonna take the same shade and just kind of highlight the brow bones as well. I'm gonna apply their highlighter. This is the highlighter that I have, and this is in the shade um, M49. I'm gonna apply this to the tops of the cheekbones. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the nose as well, and ooh, that's really pretty. I hope you guys can kind of see it. I feel like you can see it better in person than it's picking up on the camera, but it definitely has like a really pretty, this like gleam to it, really, really pretty. And I feel like it isn't ex accentuating too much texture. Obviously, a highlighter is going to normally accentuate some texture, but I feel like it's not like picking up anything extra and it's not looking like overly... It's not just like overly emphasizing any texture. I feel like it looks really, really pretty. 
It's gonna add a little bit to the brow bone as well. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. The mascara that I have, this is the Fit Glow Beauty Mascara. My Beauty does not have a mascara, at least not yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes off camera and then I will apply this Fit Glow Beauty Mascara and I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm going to apply a lip product. I have both of their types of lip products here. So their cream lipstick and also their lip balm. So this one is their cream lipstick. This is in the shade M58. So this is what this looks like and I'll swatch it for you as well. The shade it looks really, really pretty. So again, this is their cream lip lipstick and this is in the shade quite kind of hard to actually see the shade name on here um so it's n m58 so that is the shade right here m58 that looks like a really pretty like pinky almost like corally shade so this is the lip balm and as you can see it's super messy um pretty much from the moment that i got it and opened it up it was just kind of like melted and it's cold <laughs> so i don't know i mean i mean i guess it's a little bit warm inside the house but I am honestly kind of surprised that it melted so easily. That's a bit disappointing. So quite, quite messy, but I'm just going to swatch this for you guys as well. So again, this shade looks really, really pretty. I think I'll use the uh, the cream lipstick shade. Um, but yeah, so it's a little bit disappointing that that one, it does get so messy. Also, this is the packaging that comes with it. So it actually comes with a separate top for this um, and like this one you see here, you would just pop it into this bottom part right here. Um, so this is how the top would be put on. I feel like I'm, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. If any of you guys know, definitely correct me if I'm wrong because it, I just don't get it. It just comes apart. Um, it doesn't stay on, at least from how, what I've seen with it so far. Um, it just doesn't seem like the best packaging system i mean i like that they want to do the refillable thing because that does help with waste over time i actually am quite disappointed in this packaging it's just it just doesn't seem like it's gonna work i mean i had it put away like this and when i took it out it was already like it just came off so a little bit disappointing but i'm just gonna apply the cream lipstick again this is the shade m58 so and it's just it's super messy like it doesn't like fit well with the top and it's also um even when it's like all the way down I guess if it's like all the way down, then it won't get as messy. But like even like this, you would think that you could just put it in like this. It's, but it just gets really messy and it just gets on the top of the lid um, and just kind of ruins the product. Um, but I will say the shade is really pretty. Um, but yeah, maybe improving that packaging in the future would be amazing. Um, but the colors are really pretty. It does have a little bit of like that tacky feeling to it, but it's not like super sticky. It does still feel like quite comfortable on the lips. At least I think it does. All right, so this is the completed look. So I just do want to go ahead and swatch these for you. So I'm going to swatch this blush shade for you. This is the blush, again, in the shade M19. The blush in the shade M19. So there is that right there. I'll also swatch some of the shades that I didn't use. Brown shade. This is the shade M4. That's a really pretty brown shade. I think that would work really nice for like a lining. If you want to use eyeshadow for like an eyeliner. I also want to swatch this blue shade for you. So this is the shade M39. I wish the shades were a little bit easier to read off of the palette. But I mean honestly... Day to day, any consumer using it, they probably don't care to actually look at the shade name. They just want to use the actual shade. Um, so that's not really a huge issue. Um, so that is that shade right there. It actually looks almost like lighter um, once you swatch it than it does in the pan. But that's really, really pretty. I feel like, I think it would be fun to do a look with this shade. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that. Just like a very different type of look definitely different than what I normally do something that bold yeah so I do like that they have this refillable packaging I do think that it's a good idea to help reduce waste in the long run as far as like the actual shades I do like the eyeshadows I think that they blended out really nicely um, I didn't really experience much fallout obviously there's a lot of kick up when you're initially like putting your brush in the pans but I don't really think that's a huge issue 
and I feel like most eyeshadows just do that anyway. Tapping off the excess just works totally fine. Both the blush and the bronzer, I do think that they blend it out nicely. It's not like looking overly like heavy on the skin. Um, and I do think that it looks nice. Um, I don't, the bronzer shade isn't like my absolute favorite bronzer shade, but I do think that it looks pretty and I do think it's good for like the winter when I want like a cooler toned bronzer. Um, and also a product that I did not use from them is their cake liner. So I'll just open this up so you guys can see it. So this is a black eyeliner. And to be completely honest, I don't use eyeliner very often. And if I do, I normally just use eyeshadow. Um, and this is like an eyeshadow, but I don't normally use like a black eyeliner or a black eyeshadow for eyeliner. Um, but that is what, this is what this one looks like. This is the cake liner. And let me swatch this for you. Oops, camera just... So I think I'll definitely need like to do another thing. It doesn't seem like it's not super opaque, at least not with these first swatch. And that might also be different um, when you're using a brush. Let me also swatch it with a precise like eyeliner brush. You guys can see what that would look like. So I'm going to use this brush here. Yeah, so definitely kind of like a lighter black. You would probably want to build this up a bit because it's definitely not opaque. Definitely would need a building up if you want it to be like a super dark line. But if you wanted something that's more subtle, something that's not as just immediately a dark, totally opaque line, then maybe this would be something that you'd be totally fine with. So that is it for today's video. Again, Mob Beauty is launching on Thursday, January 21st. By the time that you are watching this video, Mob Beauty has already launched. You can definitely go check out their website if you are interested in checking them out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you guys do want to see more, more content from me in the future, I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye, guys.